All right, this actually makes me feel pretty bad for Dean Phillips. I don't know how many of you know, but there's a Democratic uh, challenger to there's a couple Democratic challengers to Joe Biden. One is Marianne Williamson, who we've spoken about before. The other is Dean Phillips. Dean Phillips had an event in New Hampshire yesterday and literally not a single voter showed up. And I just feel bad. for. I, I just do feel bad. I don't think I'm, I'm not supporting this guy, you know, I just feel terribly for him. Uh, there's a Guardian article field of bad dreams. Biden rival makes quip after no one turns up to 2024 event. Dean Phillips said sometimes if you build it, they don't come. They don't come. Of course, a reference to the movie Field of Dreams from 1989, where I guess they build a baseball field. I don't remember the I never saw the movie, to be honest. Um, Here is Dean Phillips just by himself. He has this uh, truck. It's like a repair truck. The it's like a spin on he's from the government and he's there to fix things. And he just sat there with a coffee and nobody came to talk to him. And the reports are that it was very, very cold yesterday in New Hampshire. So that was maybe part of it. I I feel bad for the guy. I don't know. What does it say about me that I'm kind of like cringing now? Just in terms of an update, um, we do have polling from the Democratic uh, primary. There, There really isn't a Democratic primary, but there are still polls in the latest poll from Emerson College. It's Biden 78. Marianne Williamson two and Dean Phillips one. That's for Nevada. Um, in Vermont, it's Williamson four and Dean Phillips three. In New Hampshire, Phillips does have seven and Marianne Williamson has six. Um, and then we have South Carolina, where Phillips is polling five and Marianne Williamson three. I do want to give an update to the many people who have said, David, please interview Marianne Williamson. You're not giving her attention. You should. Um, Her press secretary said no to us. So um, I don't want to like I don't want to make this a big thing. But a few months ago, Marianne Williamson wrote to me privately. I'm not going to read the email or anything like that because it was a private private email. But suffice it to say, She wasn't thrilled with my coverage of her. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. And she has said that publicly, so I'm not violating any confidence. She publicly has said I'm not paying attention to her. She doesn't like. Okay, Uh, she wrote to me privately several months ago. Two weeks ago, we got an email from her campaign PR person saying, hey, do do you want to interview Marianne? And we wrote back and we said, yes, we do. You know, let's have her on. Let's talk about policy. What better thing? Let's engage in the dialogue. And uh, her PR person to producer Pat, who books the interviews, uh, um, um, books a lot of the interviews, said uh, no. So I wrote back to Marianne a week ago and I said, Marianne, listen, you know, I heard your criticisms of me and the fact that we're not covering you and you don't like what, what, what I'm saying. We invited you on for an interview. You could be on as long as you want. It could be 15 minutes. It could be 40, whatever she wants to do. And your public relations person turned us down. And uh, she didn't even write me back. So for those people emailing me saying, why won't you interview her? Why won't you? We've offered her an interview. It could be a double length interview or single. We could whatever she wants. And her PR person turned it down and she didn't respond to me. So please stop emailing me about that. She's welcome to come on here anytime. And we tried to do it. Many of you have heard me talk about the hacking that I've dealt with in the past. Look up the statistics. If it hasn't happened to you, it still could at some point. Our sponsor Aura is the all in one solution that I use to keep all of our accounts safe. Aura will scan the dark web for your personal info, email, password, social security number, and will alert you if it's found and will help you take steps to fix it. You'll get alerts about suspicious credit inquiries. Aura will monitor bank accounts and home and auto titles to help protect you against fraud. And Aura also will protect your actual devices from malware and scams with state of the art antivirus and a call screener. And Aura will help you manage what your kids can do on their devices with easy to use parental device controls. You can try Aura for free for two weeks at Aura.com slash Pacman. Your login credentials might already be floating around out there somewhere. It takes just a few seconds to use the Aura free trial to find that out. The link is down below.